I'm Willie Geis, along with Al Roker and Prince's favorite news anchor, Tamron Hall. That is not a us. fact. What are you sure talking about? He wrote he, this. Does he write, did he write a theme song for any other news anchor? Right. We don't. No. Fine, I'll no. take it. Take no. the compliment. It's a compliment. <laughs> Natalie's, of course, at the Vatican. Tamron helping us out today. We want to get right to today's take three yes. because we're getting more Joe Biden. Oh, Our take one it. being Biden. Yesterday, the White House launched a new series on its website, an audio series called Being Biden, which is a glimpse into the world <laughs> of the vice president. Basically, what he's going to do is take a still photograph from time to time and explain it. Give the backstory. Tell what he was thinking. Who are the people in that photograph? His first one, uh, he says he wanted to give a start the audio series to give a closer look inside the life of the White House and the presidency. So we're going to get a lot of backstory and we're going to get a lot of Joe Biden. Which I is can't the key get enough to Joe all Biden. this. Cannot get enough You're Joe Biden. Biden's favorite anchor, meteorologist. Yes, he wrote a theme song. Oh, no question. <laughs> you want to hear? Here it goes. It's fantastic. <laughs> so what do you think? What is being Biden? I, I, You know what? I think right now it's probably going to be kind of tame. Right. Because I think you know, uh, Vice President Biden wants kind of, doesn't want to scare anybody. Exactly. Mm. But then I think as things go along and people, st- you know, the White House stops really paying right. attention, he's going to let loose. <laughs> he's going to be spectacular. We'll get the full Biden, oh, which man. we hope looks something like this. Remember from January? You got a billion dollars. Smile. <laughs> There's a lot to smile about today. Okay. Okay. Next to me. Uh, yes. Next yes. to me. <laughs> God, I need any help on your pecs. Let me know. That's the best one. Holy mackerel. You know, it was, it was really off that clip that in January there was a formal petition posted to WhiteHouse.gov to give the vice president his own show. I remember when it was on Parks and Recreation. It was on yes. Parks and Rec as well. Uh, uh, Leslie Nope said her ideal man had the brains of George Clooney in the body of Joe Biden. There you go. There it it's is. all about the pecs, but I love that the touch of the face that he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The face. It's yeah. like, well, how did that go? <laughs> there it is. It doesn't feel the same. Biden does it better. It's important that it's the back. <laughs> no, 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 no. So more Joe Biden by popular demand. Yes. Our take two. This one's really cool. This is this Veronica Mars movie on Kickstarter. Everybody's talking about this. It's a film based on a TV show a few mm-hmm. years ago that was canceled in 2007 after Can't three seasons, but has a big cult following. So on the website Kickstarter, fans contributed $2 million in less than 12 hours. Wow. As of this morning, yeah, we're over $3 million and still with 20 Eight more days to go. So how, what, what do they get for that? Well, Kickstarter, that's interesting. Kickstarter is not an investment. You're right. just backing it. In return, you get things like a walk-on part in the film. Ah. Or I Kristen just donated Bell to will, a Kickstarter account. Did you? Yeah, I love this. It's a hairstylist who's focusing in on women who have alopecia, who, who've lost their hair mm-hmm. with breast cancer and the treatment. And um, I made a donation, and she has a goal date. And if she reaches her amount by that goal date, my money goes to her. If she right. doesn't, the money goes back to you. But I love it. That's it gives a people idea. a chance to really invest. Mm. It's a community. I, I really like this idea. Mm. And, this, and you can invest in movies like Veronica right. Mars, which is super cool. And a lot of documentary films mm-hmm. have been made this way. People mm-hmm. who otherwise wouldn't be able to make them. Uh, iPhone yeah. apps. There are all kinds of things it's being like developed because of Kickstarter. It's like my favorite thing. Yeah. I, I really like this. You movie. know, there's, a, there's a, a little place on the site to fund Tamron's soundtrack for her show. Wow. It all comes That's back it. to It starts Prince. with Prince. Yeah. And then it's going to be good. God for the that, money. That, <laughs> yeah. My mom used to do that to me. Like, what is that buzzing? What is that? What is that I hear? Uh, go away. Why don't you two, we two work that out. Oh, while we yesterday move on, it was you and now move on to our one. take three. You okay, let's do your thing. What do you got? Okay, this is a big one. Oh, I men, love this. Talking men and lying. Tamara, we need you yes, on this one. I love this. Men's Health Magazine is breaking mm-hmm. down men and their tendency to lie. An article called The Truth About Lying. Men come clean about their most common fibs, fabrications, and falsehoods. Here are some of the findings. Number one, men objectively lie more often than women. They found that uh, in this study, 1,092 (laughs) (laughs) average man told 1,092 lies last year. But who's counting? And 728 for women. Mm. Another finding, most men think they know when their woman is lying. 63% of men are confident they know when their wife or girlfriend is telling a lie. Hmm. Which yeah. may be more naivete from the man right. than right. anything else. That's right. Uh, body, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Body issues. The physical feature men are most likely to lie about is their height. For women, it's weight. That makes sense. Mm. You that think makes so? Sense. Mm-hmm. Makes perfect okay. sense. Yeah. And the fourth finding: Watch out, single ladies. One in two men have lied on a first date. Hmm. So, 
Al, do, are you like a white liar? Well, you know, look, I, I, I will admit, I uh, uh, used to lie That's a lot. That's a tell about, when you touch no, your I face used to, that it's lying. No, That's I'm, what the FBI said. Or says. I could just itch. Uh, anyway, I used to lie a lot about my uh, what I would eat. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, like, but like nobody actually knew. Yeah. That I you was, felt that you would be eating. judged. Yes. Right. Yeah. That makes sense as well. I think men lie more to cover their tails, and women lie more to um, make people feel better. Hmm. So if your friend says, Do I look good in this dress? You're going to say yes. And I think men lie because, for example, when you guys were boys, you'd knock over things. Who did that? Not, Not me. me. Right. You right. know, you, you grow accustomed to lying that way. But I was thinking about this last night. I think women really don't care if men lie more as long as it's not the man in their life. So I don't care what you two do. Ah. But as long as the man in my life, wink, isn't lying to me, that's what matters. Good to know, Al. Yeah. We can just lie to her face on a daily basis. This you do. You tell me you like me. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not. Come on. I was fishing not for fair. a We comment. love you. Who, what? Someone said something. Oh, do your wives know when you're lying? Yeah. I would not have asked you that question because I don't want to get you in trouble. But does your wife know? Oh, I think so. What's your tell? Well, what is your I don't, tell? I don't lie on big things. I'm a white liar. Like, if I'm left with the children. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. Sure. Christina will come home and say, did you give them a bath? And I go, yes. Now, do you bring and then the kids George in comes out with peanut butter in his say, hair. That's, that's a, that, that one's easily Don't tell your mother. Peanut butter in his hair. And she says, George, you take a bath? He goes, no. Okay, what and about, totally what about Deborah? What, does she know when you're Oh, wrong? yeah, absolutely. Well, how yeah. does she know? She just, she just my, knows you. My mouth's moving. <laughs> <laughs> So well, long, though. Thing. But uh, so, can you go back in your mind and think? Did you lie on the first or second date with your wife? No, that's a lie. Though. I'm sure I did <laughs> about something. About, I don't know what. No. I don't know. No. I just that's what the study said that men lie on the first or second date. Okay, not all. Did it say 100 percent of all men? Well, you said when your mouth is moving, you are lying. <laughs> it is so. a joke. <laughs> Yeah, again, so the tension today is here. Yeah. And people were tweeting, here. you know, I, I really, have, my, my feelings Tanner? are a little hurt because people said that I was mean to you guys yesterday. Not true at all. And I don't believe that. I thought no. that I'm the guest in your home and I, I should have that. chocolate, yes. flowers, gifts, candy. We bought Did I you chocolate are, you already? You are part of the family. You're here. But if it gets There's me no gifts, I'll lie and say I'm a guest <laughs> about that. Well, anyway, so do you think that I lie? I mean, do you guys have Oh, there's intense? no question about yeah, it. Absolutely. No question Every about day. It. Yeah. Especially right around 2 o'clock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For about 60 minutes. It is MSNBC. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What it's does that even joke. mean? I, don't I know would what that never means. bite the hand that feeds Not me. Not much. Don't be foolish. How are you going to read mean? the news with that glove in your mouth? It's a joke. It was for humor. <laughs> It was a joke, and if one hey, block quotes you want to me, the I will now? deny it. 